In this video, we'll be doing an example of factoring a quadratic equation with a negative leading coefficient. If you don't already, make sure you understand how to factor a quadratic with a positive leading coefficient greater than 1, since the process for this is pretty similar. Let's consider the example negative 3u squared plus 19u plus 14. First thing we'll do is draw an x just to organize our work as we go. In the top part of the x, we're going to write the product of our first leading coefficient and our final term. So negative 3 times 14, which is negative 42. And in the bottom, we will write our middle leading coefficient, which is 19. Now we have to think of what are two numbers that multiply to negative 42 and add up to 19. Let's list the factors of negative 42. Since negative 42 is a negative number, we know that if we're taking two factors and multiplying them, one will need to be negative and one will be positive. So let's list all of the possible pairs of factors that multiply to negative 42. We could take negative 1 times positive 42 or positive 1 times negative 42. There's also negative 2 times 21 or positive 2 times negative 21. There's negative 3 times 14 or positive 3 times negative 14. And finally, we could take negative 6 times 7 or positive 6 times negative 7. Now that we've listed all the numbers that multiply to negative 42, we've got to figure out which pairs of these numbers add up to positive 19. This one adds up to 41. This adds up to negative 41. These two factors add up to 19. We could keep adding up the rest of these, and we would see that these two factors are the only two that add up to positive 19, which is what we're trying to get because 19 is our target sum of these two numbers. Now that we've found these two numbers, we can add them into our x here just to stay organized. And we're ready to replace this 19u with negative 2u plus 21u, like this. The reason we can do this is because negative 2u plus 21u equals 19u. So we haven't changed the value of our equation, we've just rewritten it differently. At this point, we find the greatest common factor of our first two terms and factor that out. And then we do the same for our last two terms. Looking at our first two terms, the greatest common factor of these two terms is negative u. So let's factor out a negative u. Negative 3u squared divided by negative u leaves us with just 3u, and negative 2u divided by negative u leaves us with 2. Now that we've factored our first pair of terms, let's do the same to our second pair of terms. The greatest common factor of 21u and 14 is 7, positive 7. So we're going to factor out positive 7 from both of those terms. In our first term here, 21u divided by 7 is 3u, and the second term, 14 divided by 7, is 2. Our final step, now that we have these two identical factors in each term, is to factor 3u plus 2 out of both of these added terms. This gives us negative u plus 7. And that is our final answer. Now just for the sake of curiosity, what would have happened if instead of factoring out a negative u from these first two terms, we had just factored out a positive u? Let's see what would have happened. Then from these first two terms, we would have u times negative 3u plus negative 2. Now we can factor out our second term. Before, we factored out a 7 from both 21u and 14. However, if we do that again, then we would be left with 3u plus 2, just like we had before, and our two factors would not match each other. So we can factor out a negative 7. And then when we factor out the negative 7, 21u divided by negative 7 is negative 3u. And 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. Now we can factor out negative 3u plus negative 2, similar to what we did before. And that leaves us with a final answer of negative 3u plus negative 2 times u minus 7. Now you might object and say, this is not the same as our original answer. Let's think about this. 3u plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 3u minus 2. 
and negative u plus 7 times negative 1 is positive u minus 7. And this answer, when we multiplied our first answer by negative 1 twice, matches our other answer. So really, to get from this to this, we just had to multiply by negative 1 two times, which is the same as multiplying by positive 1. And so these two answers are equivalent. So what we've learned is you can do it either way, and it's OK. And that is how you factor a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient.